okay, listen, didn't have time to get pretty today. I'm really struggling balancing my full-time job with trying to do YouTube. So dirty hair and quick makeup's all you get. But anyways, there's a Sephora sale. I'm not particularly inspired to place an order, but I feel like I should do it today and just film it for YouTube because it would be fun. So let's make this a challenge. I've added every single item that I am interested in to my Sephora cart. And this video is all gonna be about my decision-making process, narrowing down my cart to an order that I feel comfortable with. So here are the first four items. The first thing that's in my cart is the Lord Jones Mini High CBD Formula Bath Salts. If you don't know, I have chronic pain. I have a whole highlight on my Instagram page about it, but that's not the point. The point is, um, I'm now starting to experiment with more CBD products and I love bath salts. So I figured this would be a really good one to try. Um, this is just like a one packet of the Lord Jones CBD bath salts. So I'm just gonna try it to see if I like it before I get the others. This is a pretty expensive product. So I'm just gonna get the one. I have the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. So Seychelles is supposed to be that kind of like bronzy flush of color with a little bit of a sheen to it. I think I'm gonna hold off on this one because my friend Emily, who's Glitter Goblin on Instagram, just purchased it. And I'm gonna wait for her review because she can be ruthless just like I am. And so I'm gonna remove that and wait until she reviews it. So boom, that's already removed from my cart. Look at me go. So now we have the Topicals Like Butter Mask for dry, sensitive, and eczema prone skin. Now I tried this on my hand when I went to Sephora recently and I was really impressed. It felt so nice and thick and nourishing. I think they say you can tissue it off so it can be used as a mask or it's basically just a moisturizer. But why would I spend $32 on the Topicals mask when basically the best product of all time for any type of sensitivity is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm, you know, B5, that whole cult classic. It's only $15. Really nothing can beat that for me. So I'm going to eliminate the Topicals product, even though I'm very interested. Okay, my cart is down to $781. Atelier Cologne Clementine California is my number one signature scent for like a fresh everyday year round scent. It's just a perfect balance of fresh, clean, slightly woody and earthy, slightly fruity. It's not sweet, it's almost unisex. It's just the perfume that my boyfriend smelled and said, this smells like the way I imagine you. So I'm hooked on it after getting a little point perk. My point perk is halfway through and this little travel size is only $30. So. Typically when I shop on Sephora, I actually like to save products that are around the $20 to $30 range for when I see a beauty offer that I want to participate in. For example, if you like put in a promo code to get a new launch, like a sample size, and you have to spend $30 in order to get it, like that's one of my favorite ways of trying new products is by doing those beauty offers, putting in the promo codes, but you have to spend a little bit of money to get those offers. So I'm actually gonna remove this from my cart. I didn't think that was gonna happen, but you know what? It's only $30. I'm gonna wait until I see a beauty offer I want and then I'll purchase it then because I still have my point perk. Mm, this is fun. Oh, I feel like I'm making such good progress. Look at me go. Next up, an item I gotta keep 100%. Paula's Choice Advanced Replenishing Toner with Hyaluronic Acid. I'm wearing it today. I am almost out. I'm down to the last little drops in the bottle. Definitely getting a replacement of that. Okay, then we have the Prima Bath Gem, 25 milligrams of CBD bath soap for relaxation and recovery. So it's a $15 bath salt product. And I asked you guys on Instagram what like CBD or THC products you liked best for pain relief. And I got a lot of really amazing recommendations. So none of them are on Sephora, they're like, only sold through actual dispensaries. So I think I'm actually gonna remove Prima because this is $15 for a bath, like, no. Now I've got the Pharmacy Honey Halo Jumbo Moisturizer. So my tried and true fave, you know I've talked about it so many times. Honey Halo is so ultra nourishing. It's like a body butter for your face, it's a face butter. And 
they released a jumbo size and a mini size for travel. The jumbo size is $68, so it's very expensive. But I already went out and purchased a backup after I fell in love with it. I'm almost out of the container I have now, but I have a backup. So I'm gonna remove the jumbo. We are down to $668 in my cart. <sighs> this is a tough one. So the Shawnee Darden Intensive Eye Renewal Cream with Firming Peptides. I've talked about this in several videos recently. This is my favorite eye cream of all time. It is thick and occlusive, and it is the only thing that prevents me from waking up in the morning with dry under eyes, unless I use Aquaphor, but I just don't like the feeling of petrolatum on my face. Here's the thing, with the Shawnee Darden eye cream, it's like a really heavy ceramic container, so you can't tell how much you have left because the container's so heavy. I'm tempted to buy a backup, but I just feel like right now, given the fact that I'm just so uninspired by Sephora, I just bought a new MacBook. I just got a new car. I don't need to be spending unnecessary money on backups because I'm at the point in my life where if I run out of a product, I can afford to buy it without a sale. So since I have the eye cream right now and I'm not out of it yet, I'm actually gonna remove this from my cart, which is crazy because I told you guys like that a lot of these products were on my wish list, and I'm just, I'm gonna nix them. We are down to $600 in my cart. Next up, I have the... Makeup by Mario, Master Metallics eyeshadow palette. And let's come back, let's come back to this one. Oh, let's come back to this one. I don't know yet, I don't, I don't wanna do it. Okay, next we're gonna do the Verb Ghost hairspray. 100%, the only thing that I truly, truly, truly need out of this order are hair products, my Paula's Choice toner, and my Paula's Choice sunscreen. That's all I need. I don't own any hairspray anymore. So I gotta go for the Verb Ghost hairspray. We already talked about the Lord Jones mini high CBD formula bath salts. I'm gonna give that a shot since it's only $9, but I think Dr. Teal's makes a CBD bath salts. Next, Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Shadow in Walk of Shame. God damn it, this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so I just Googled swatches of the new Eyes to Mesmerize shades in Pillow Talk and Walk of No Shame. And here's what I'm feeling. My gut really wants them. I love the Eyes to Mesmerize formula. It's one of my favorites. It's just like a really creamy emollient kind of wet look shadow and Walk of no shame though, I think I want it because it looks exactly like one of my, hi. Come, come. Hi. The big dog is gonna be with us for the remainder of the video. Back to what I was saying before we were graciously interrupted by our King Thumper. Eyes to mesmerize. Walk of Shame. Looks like my favorite eyeshadow by MAC in Amorous Alloy. It is a reddish brown, and if I already have the same color, I don't need it in a different formula. So I think I'm gonna wait and see if I can go swatch it in Sephora to see if it's different, but for right now, I just don't need it then. Next up, we have the Prima R&R Cream, 750 milligrams of CBD recovery rub for soothing comfort. The reviews on Sephora are really, really, really good, saying that like this is a thick, balm that you rub into your muscles and it can really help with pain. 750 milligrams of CBD is very, very high for most products. But what I've come to understand is it's also about the carrier oils. It's not just about how much CBD is in it, but also what kind. And every serious chronic pain sufferer I've talked to, like myself, has said that you need a product, a topical product with THC because CBD helps with the inflammation apparently, but THC helps with the pain. So I've decided to remove this from my cart because I'm gonna purchase some topical THC and CBD products from my local dispensary because I'm in California and we got that. Okay, so the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Serum and Cream Treatment. God, can I just call it a moisturizer for fuck's sake? Um, this is $88. This is the kind of product that I would wanna purchase during the sale. I have four moisturizers that I'm currently using, but the only product I really like to test and like swap out regularly is moisturizers. I just love having different textures for different things. I'm gonna go with this because my friend Dev really swears by it and says it's just so nourishing, soothing, um, she says she just wakes up and her skin feels like plump and that's exactly what I want. It's so expensive that that's the kind of thing I would justify using a sale for. 
The next is, you know, the Moroccan oil dry texture spray. This is a mini size. It's $13. So it's kind of like, why not? That would be great. Um, I'd like to try to find alternatives to my beloved Oribe dry texturizing spray. I already know I love the verb dry texturizing spray and I'm going to get that. Bye bye. I love them so much. I could cry. I do cry when I think about them. Thumper's the best. The Moroccan oil dry texture spray doesn't have the best reviews. But I really just want an alternative to Aura Bay because Aura Bay is so expensive. I like the Verb texturizing spray, but it doesn't come in a travel size. So if I can find a travel size texturizing spray that's only $13, whereas the mini size of Aura Bay is $25, that saves me a good amount of money when I travel. So I think I'd like to give this a shot. I love the way Moroccan oil products smell. So for now, I'm gonna keep this. Next up, the Pharmacy Garden Party Green Clean Trio. I've been thinking about this one since Sephora had their friends and family sale back in October. The Pharmacy Green Clean is hands down my favorite cleansing balm. It does have fragrance. I don't know off the top of my head if it's essential oils or naturally occurring fragrance or synthetic fragrance, I don't know. They are the most effective product I've tried at removing sunscreen and makeup. I'm currently using their new fragrance-free one. I think it's called Clearly Clean. I can't remember. I don't like it as much. It's like creamier and I find that it doesn't totally rinse off i don't think i'm just gonna go with my tried and true which is the green clean and i really just love that this comes in like three delicious scents it's their mini size which is just they're kind of like that big so it's kind of just like a little sampling for 42 dollars, i don't need it though i have three cleansing bombs i'm currently trying to use up I feel like this would be a superfluous addition to my order for now, I'm going to keep it because I really want those scents. And if it's like a trio, it's probably limited edition. Okay. Paula's Choice, Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. Need. I used that up a few weeks ago. I've been missing it ever since. Um, Moroccan Oil, Dry Shampoo for Light Tones. Oh, I desperately need this. I ran out of this like three months ago and I've been waiting for the sale to buy it again. And I need it very badly. Keeping that. Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadow in pillow talk. This is another one. I think I got to swatch it because when I was looking at pictures online, it looks like it might be a little too light or a little too mauve. It's too light pink. If it's too cool toned, I'm not going to ever wear it. But if it's like a beautiful flush of like rosiness on my eyes, then I can see myself loving it since I love that eyeshadow formula. So I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to remove this from my cart and try to swatch the new eyes to mesmerize in stores. We're down to $494 in my cart. Next up, ooh, we have the NARS Summer Solstice Eyeshadow Palette. Now, this is a tough one. I've gone to every Sephora store. Anytime I go to a new city or a new town and I'm just driving around and there's a Sephora, I go in because I'm trying to find eyeshadow palettes so I can swatch them. And Summer Solstice is never in stores. I had some friends say that this was a beautiful palette. I mean, God, look at those colors. You can just, you can see them in the little image, basically. It's just like a bunch of oranges and sort of pinks and that beautiful kind of desert sky shade. But if I'm thinking realistically, I'm going to skip it. I'm much more interested in the Makeup by Mario Metals one, whatever that is. Let's remove Summer Solstice. I also had a friend say they didn't like the formula. So we're down to 4.45. Okay. 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 Paula's Choice Mini Skin Perfecting 2% BHA. Ooh, I have to see if I have that. Because actually, you know what? No, I don't need that. Stop. Reset. It's $10. I can buy that anytime without a sale. So the Youth to the People Superberry Dream Cleansing Balm. Interesting one. I have a lot of friends. Basically, all my close friends are on the PR list for Youth to the People. They all said this was the weirdest texture that they've ever tried. It was like chunky. But they also said that it was the most effective cleansing balm they've ever tried. So... It's slightly cheaper than the Pharmacy Green Clean Trio. So I'm gonna see if my friend can just like scoop a little in a jar and mail it to me so I can see if I like it. And that way I can buy the Pharmacy Trio that I know I love. I'm down to 401. Next, we have the Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion in Fresco. So this is a YouTuber I've followed for, geez, like I feel like at least 10 years. Um, I'm sure you know her too on YouTube. She's TT Sandra and she uses this blush all the time. It looks so good on her. She said it's the perfect shade for when she does a bold lip or a bold eye because it just looks like such a skin flush of bronze. 
My friend Dev also has it and she sent me a swatch and it looked way more peachy than I was expecting. I think because I'm so cool toned and I have a lot of pink that anything like remotely peachy just is gonna look like extra peachy on me. So I think I'm gonna try to wait until I can also swatch Fresco in stores so that I'm not buying it, trying it, not liking it and wasting my money or returning it to Sephora and you know creating a lot of product waste. We are down to 369, two products left in my cart. Ooh, yikes, I thought I was gonna be able to narrow it down a little bit more. The Dr. Laura Devgan, Devgan? Anyways, it's her lip, Platinum Lip Plump SPF 30. Basically, it's a plumping product that has anti-aging ingredients and hydrating ingredients. And it also has something that kind of flushes the lips that irritates them a little bit, so it plumps, and it flushes them pink. It also has sunscreen, which is why I'm interested in it, because all of the lip products I have with sunscreen are just not a cosmetically elegant formula. The only one that comes close for me is the Color Science Lip Shine, I think is what it's called. Um, it's basically just a gloss with some, uh, some sunscreen in it. But everyone I know who's tried the Dr. Laura Devgan Platinum Lip Plump has been like, this is dope. In the before and after, everybody looks like their lips just got injections. So it's $50. I've been waiting to purchase this product for, I don't know, maybe a year and a half, a year, at least a year so that I could wait for a sale. A $50 lip product is a lot, even for me. I know my Fit Glow Night Serum is $48, but I know that that works for me. I feel like if it flushes my lips pink, if it makes them look bigger, if it's moisturizing and it adds sunscreen, that's worth $50. That's like an all around get it done product. And lastly, the Verb Volume Dry Texture Spray is only $18 and that's my sort of second best to the Aura Bay Dry Texturizing Spray. So that's everything. The bad news is that I'm still at $369. I'm just staring at my cart. There's nothing going on in this noggin right now. I'm just like, how do I get my cart down? Oh, dope. Okay, so I use a Chrome extension called Wikibuy. They were bought by Capital One. I think they're now called Capital One Shopping. I just checked my balance and I have a gift card balance of $33. So in addition to the 20% off at Sephora, I can get another $33 using my Wikibuy gift card. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sweating, I'm sweating. Okay, that was like the cutest <laughs> my farts have ever sounded. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways, Sephora. Um, I have to remind myself to be ruthless here. So I'm keeping the Paula's Choice. I need that. The Makeup by Mario Master Metallics Eyeshadow TBD. The Verb Hairspray is a yes. You know what? The Lord Jones CBD Bath Salts. A CBD Bath Salt is not going to help my pain. I can just get the Dr. Teal's Himalayan Salt, whatever that I love. And then the topical THC creams, like that's what's gonna help. So I'm gonna remove it. I need the Verb hairspray. I don't have any hairspray. The Tatcha serum and cream treatment. I want it, yeah. The Moroccan oil dry texture spray. I need to find a travel size texturizing spray that's not as expensive as Aura Bay. The product that I want the most is the Pharmacy Garden Party Green Clean Trio. But I'm still getting through three different cleansing balms and it's like, you know what, if this product isn't limited edition, or if it's at least gonna be able to be sold for a while, I'm just gonna remove it from my cart because I don't need it right now. I want it. Oh, all of the scents sound so good. It's like strawberry, basil, and it's like peach or like lemon. It's just like cocktails and like refreshing scents. Anyways, you get it. I really like good smelling things. So that's why I want it really badly. I'm gonna remove it from my cart, that's $42 down. That one hurt, that one hurt. I've been thinking about that for a long time. I really wanted that, but I just don't need it right now. I'm down to 318, okay. Let me do some quick math. So with the $33 I have from Wikibuy, and with 20% off, 318 minus the $33 is 285. 20% of 285 is 228, but 
there's sales tax. I think sales tax in California is like 7%. So I'm gonna say sales tax is gonna be around $15. So that means for a cart of $318, I can get everything for a total of two forty-three. Yes, ma'am. Say hi. <laughs> Crab. <laughs> Crab. <laughs> I farted on camera. It was really funny. I'm gonna go work out and take the T-dog out. Oh, good. Finally, do your fucking job. <laughs> now I'm gonna keep talking while you're doing your thing. Yeah, no, because I gotta Thumper. be naked. Big dog. Hi, oh, it's, a, it's family affair. Hi, honey. Did you want to say hi? Oh, big stretch. Oh, big stretch. Okay, I have made a decision. Thumper coming in gave me some clarity that I needed. I'm going to remove the Makeup by Mario Master Metallics eyeshadow palette because it's a lot of shades I wanted to play with and get creative with, but I just don't need it. When I look at the shades, I think I would use like five from the palette. This I think is too much on the colorful side, although I really do want this. I think that for right now, I think I really just need to go to a Sephora store and swatch all of the eyeshadows I've talked about because I'm just really feeling like stepping outside my comfort zone with eyeshadow right now. That M Cosmetics palette got me like really lusting after more palettes. I've been loving my Rowan quads as always. And I just really want an eyeshadow palette because I'm not really a palette girl but I just still haven't exactly figured out which is the best one for me. I'm gonna remove this palette, sadly. I'm down to 270, and now I feel kind of sad about my cart. It's just skincare and hair care. There's no makeup, and you know, makeup is what makes me excited, but I don't need any more, and I do need the skincare I ran out of, and I do need the hair products that I don't even have. I think I could go one step further here. I know in my heart I can get rid of the Tatcha serum and cream treatment. I have four moisturizers. I just don't need one. Everything else in my cart are products that I actually really do need right now, with the one exception of the Platinum Lip Plump, which I have been thinking about for a year because it's $50, and I feel like I should just do it. Can I be honest with you guys? Really the only eyeshadow palette I actually want is the Natasha Denona gold palette. I really want it. I think maybe what I should do is just buy a slightly used one on Poshmark or Mercari or something because that's really the only one that I want. Like I want those shades. I'm very sad that that was discontinued. I've been lusting after that for like two years. So my final cart will be $127 and 54 cents. For me, that's a huge deal. Usually when the Sephora sale comes, I spend like $400. I'm really proud of this. I'm gonna use up my cleansing balms and then I'm probably gonna buy the Pharmacy Green Clean Trio at full price. I'm gonna use up some moisturizers and then eventually get the Tatcha Serum and Cream Treatment. I'm gonna go to Sephora, swatch all those eyeshadows and probably not buy anything until I eventually find the palette that works for me somewhere else. Wow, we started at like over $800 and brought it down to 127. That took a lot of mental games, but I'm really proud of myself. Was this super chaotic and difficult to watch or were you entertained and thought this was interesting to see my thought process? Let me know or don't. I don't really wanna know if you hated it. But anyways, I had a fun time filming this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you next time.